Hi, I'm Aaron Jordan and I'm an installation technician for SEL Engineering Services. Today I'd like to introduce you to SEL's line of direct replacement assemblies. Each assembly is purpose-built to match the form factor and terminal block arrangement of a specific legacy relay so that no panel or wiring modifications are necessary. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install an SEL direct replacement assembly using this unit as an example. This model is designed as a replacement for motor protection relays such as this one that use resistance, temperature detectors, or RTDs. This unit comes in two parts, a front mounting plate that contains an SEL 710 motor protection relay and a rear mounting plate that contains the terminal blocks. As you can see, I've already labeled the wires to indicate the terminal block positions on the existing relay. We are now ready to determinate the wires from the existing relay. I will begin by taking the RTD wiring off and will slowly work my way around and remove all of the connections from the relay. Next, I'll be removing the uh, control wires from the relay. Um, this top row is more uh, power and control wiring. As you can see, they're different terminations. These bottom connections are your CT wiring. We'll remove those. And last up, we have the rest of the RTDs. Now that all the wires are disconnected, we're ready to remove the four mounting screws from the existing relay. Now that we removed the existing relay, we can begin installing the new assembly. As you can see, the front mounting plate is designed to match the existing cutout and provide a clean finished look. This front panel will slide right back into the hole of the previous relay. Um, it is designed so that the PEM studs match up with the holes of the previous relay. And we merely Attach it with four cap nuts. After the cap nuts are installed, we'll go through and we'll tighten all of these. For the next step, We'll attach the rear mounting plate. It slides right over the relay and is connected with four screws to the front panel assembly. After these screws have been installed, all we have to do is attach the green Phoenix connectors into the relay. And one ground screw. Now that we've installed the back panel, the front panel, I'm going to install the control and RTD wires, which will land here on the compression blocks. These compression terminal blocks make it uh, very handy and efficient to re-terminate the wires onto the relay. I'm just gonna work my way around this and plug in all of the wires to their connection points. These control wires on top have ring lugs, so they'll need to be converted into ferrule terminations. Now that we have these all re-terminated, just follow the labels and plug them where they go. Now that we've finished the control wiring, we can continue with the RTD wiring on the left side. Plug it into the appropriate spot. Make sure that each crimp is seated. It's very easy. 
Next, I'm gonna terminate the CT wires, which will land on these screw captive terminal blocks. Merely hook the wire in, shut the terminal block, and tighten it down. As you can see, SEL direct replacement assemblies are designed to streamline the entire retrofit process, making installation possible within only a few hours. To learn more about our direct replacement assemblies, you can visit our website and download the flyer. Thank you for watching.